to our YouTube channel for more recipes. Please subscribe. Welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today we are making a cup salad with a little twist. I'm taking out the chicken and I'm taking out the bacon. But what I'm doing, I'm replacing it with a turkey burger and I'm replacing it with a turkey bacon. So let's go over to the ingredients. Romaine, cucumbers, red onion, avocado, tomatoes, eggs, turkey burgers, turkey bacon. For the dressing, we're going to use plain Greek yogurt, vegan mayonnaise, and the blue cheese, and some olive oil. What we're doing right now, I'm gonna cook first the turkey bacon, and after that, I'm gonna cook the turkey burgers. I'm gonna let them cool down, and then I'm gonna make the salad. Very little olive oil just to cover the pan. I'm gonna put one. You see the turkey bacon, the turkey bacon is very lean. So we cook the turkey, then the pan is gonna have the flavor from the turkey. We're gonna cook the turkey burgers and it's really gonna be delicious. Okay, so we have the bacon cooking. In the meantime, what we're gonna do, we're gonna prepare the boiled eggs. We're putting cold water on the eggs just to cover the eggs and an inch above the eggs. So we're gonna turn the heat high. And we're gonna let it boil. And after it boils, we're gonna put, we're gonna shut off the, the heat. We're gonna put a lid and leave them there for 10 minutes. And we're gonna have the perfect boiled egg. Oh, the turkey bacon, it looks ready. We're gonna remove the turkey bacon, put it on the, on the plate. And then we're gonna put the turkey burgers right on the same pan we will cooking the bacon. We're gonna let the burgers cook in one side like two and a half minutes three minutes and then we're gonna flip them over. So we're gonna chop one heads of romaine. So we're gonna put the salad in a drainer. Ooh. Ooh. Nice, beautiful green romaine. So you see when the turkeys pop up a little bit, so I like to put like a, a little, like a few holes on it. So that way the turkey burger will cook a little faster. You see? Boom. It's almost like a little square boxes, you know? All right, you see it has a nice color. Beautiful. Okay. I'm bringing down the heat to like medium. So this is the bowl we're going to make the salad. So we have a big red onion here. We're not gonna use the whole onion. We're gonna leave a half on the side and a half we're gonna slice it. But what I'm gonna do with these onions, I'm not gonna leave as strips. I'm gonna dice it. I want everything to be diced. So that way we'll get a nice, uh, when you take a bite, you taste everything. So I'm cutting it a little small. Okay, we're gonna put the onions in the bowl. I always like to wash my, uh, onions with a little bit of white vinegar. So what I do, I put some white vinegar. Then what I do, I put some cold water. I'm washing the tomatoes with cold water, but then I drop in the tomatoes inside here also, so that way they get an extra wash. Okay, 
Okay, we remove the tomatoes. Now we're gonna drain the red onions from the, so you see this way when you wash the onions with vinegar, they really take the heat away from the onions. So the onions becomes like a little bit sweet. It tastes like a pickle, pickle onion. So it, it makes the salad taste much better. So we got the onions. We have the romaine. We're almost there. These burgers are like four ounce each, four to five ounce. So all together they can take eight to 10 minutes to cook. Okay, time for the tomatoes. I'm gonna dice the tomatoes. We say we're gonna dice the tomatoes. Beautiful tomatoes. See, so we go one, two, three. So you got one, two, three, four pieces on this side. One, two, three, four. You can even go five. So the turkey burgers are ready. So we're just gonna shut off the heat. We remove the turkeys from the fry pan. So that way uh, it cools down faster. Cool the proteins ready. We have uh, the turkey burgers and we have the turkey bacon. The water is boiling with the egg. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna shut it off. And we're gonna leave it like this for 10 minutes. Excellent, it's been 10 minutes for the eggs. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pour cold water on it for a couple of minutes. So that way we can stop the heat going to the eggs so that way the eggs don't have to overcook we are putting the tomatoes in the salad three tomatoes next we have the cucumbers i always like to give them a nice wash okay so now we're gonna dice the cucumbers too. but they smell very refreshing that's what the cucumber does to a salad it brings a little crispiness and the refreshing taste you want to have from a salad. So you cut it right in the middle. Then we're going to put one, two, three strips. And you just cut them. If you would like to make a salad with avocados, go buy the avocados two, three days ahead. So that way, when you make a salad, the avocados, they're waiting for you. You know, the taste is, when the avocado is right, it tastes really good. But, So, so far we have a half an onion, we have a head of romaine, we have three tomatoes, two cucumbers, two avocados, and we have a nice bowl of salad. So we have the blue cheese here, we're gonna make the dressing. Usually people pour the blue cheese right on the top, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make the base of the dressing with the blue cheese. So we're gonna put the... So we got like one fourth of a cup of blue cheese. Then we're gonna use four tablespoons of Greek yogurt. We're gonna use two tablespoons of the veggie mayonnaise. One, two, some olive oil. I'm gonna use two tablespoons, one, Two. We're gonna give it a nice mix. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I like to put the dressing right on the top before I put the protein. Oh, 
How can this salad be boring with all these different flavors? This is a real treat. I mean, cooking takes time, but I think when you do something like this, you invest in time for yourself. So on this salad, we are gonna use three turkey burgers because it's a big salad. This is, I think, will fit, I don't know. I like a lot of salad. I think it's for two people, but it can be for four people. Delicious. Mm. So now the turkey goes on the top. So right now we are having two, four, five, let's get one. Let's do six strips of bacon. You see, if you make them smaller, the bacon, it becomes a part of the flavor, part of the dressing. So the next thing is the eggs. Wow. I feel like I keep building protein to protein to protein. I waited all the way to the end to be sure the eggs, they're cold. And they are. Beautiful. Wow. It's clean. Cut that. Wow. Perfect. Hard boy leg. Perfect recipe. I eight actually, you cut it in a half, you get four and four, that's eight. So the egg, it becomes a part of the dressing. I probably had to use a bigger bowl because I didn't think it would be so big. So now you need to give it a really good mix. You need a, a really good spatula. So you wanna go from the bottom up. You see, you have to realize on this salad, we didn't use any salt. You can add your own salt in the end. The salad really smells really good. I cannot wait to taste it. This is what it is. This is Steve's Cobb salad. It might not look the prettiest, but I'm telling you, this is gonna be one of the most tasty salads you ever have. So many different flavors, so many different ingredients, and they're all good for you. So today we have a club, a cup salad. Oh yeah, it is. Did you ever have a cup salad? No, I, I actually, I, I have no idea what a cup salad is, but, but it looks great. What I like about the cup salad, I mean, you saw me making it. Oh yeah. All the different ingredients, starting from vegetables. You have the red onions, you have the cucumbers, the romaine, the avocado, the tomatoes. Yes. And then you got the protein, you have your turkey burgers. Usually they have chicken on the cup salad, we'll put a turkey burger. Yeah. Then they put regular bacon, so we'll put the turkey bacon. And we have the eggs. So it's time to eat it, Alex, because you've been here for many salads. Yes. And this is a lot different from the salads I made before. What do you think, Alex? It's really good. To me, it takes you to many places. Yeah. It's almost like a little travel journey because I'm eating one thing and I can taste avocado, I can taste that egg, and all of a sudden you have the turkey bacon and then you have the taste of the blue cheese, but what I like about the blue cheese, it does not take over the salad. It's so good. I like my food to look pretty, but I want my food to taste really good, and that's what I'm all about. And I think the way we mix the eggs with the avocado, you know, the blue cheese, the Greek yogurt, you didn't have to use extra dressing. And you see many times, I feel like the dressings have a lot of calories. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like it's not dry. 
And what I did, I didn't use any salt when we cooked it, but I add a little salt, even I don't love a lot of salt, but the salt brings out the flavor. So it's up to you. You like to make the salad without the salt and add your own salt, either way it works. Another one, uh, good energy every day.